discusses the moustache. It's in trend at the moment because it's Movember, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And you're here for Movember. Thank you very much. What's your perspective of it? You know, like we're, we're in a grooming salon. Yeah. There were none of these places around when I was younger. Yeah. You go to the barbers. Now you've got all these waxes and these potions and stuff. I remember when I plucked my eyebrows when I was younger in the middle. Even that wasn't accepted in those mm. days. You were seen as almost feminine to get rid of stray hairs. Yeah. And now men are getting waxes. I've done some laser treatment on myself. I won't show you, obviously, on camera. Oh. You know, when I'm topless and stuff, you want to look good. Oh. And you, you know, you should, I think I'm giving them too much information. Right? <laughs> but, <laughs> so how did you get on stage then at 24, did you say? Yeah, it was about 24, we thought. I ain't got a job. Might as well get out there and see what happens. Probably one of the most scary moments of my my life just to get up a five minute set it's not really you because you're kind of just getting yeah. up there for the first time i remember it was a i was on last after like i think i was about 12 13 comedians on stage starts eight you're on at 11 you're lucky if anyone's left in the room it was opposite selfridges this little wine bar downstairs and then afterwards two guys held up the club and tried to mug everyone got into a fight and i crept out through the back through the kitchen and went outside and called the police and thought this is what I need to be doing for the rest of my life. <laughs> this is my calling, you know. Comedy is so important because it's a way of approaching all these subjects, but mm. in a way that we can all understand because we can have a laugh with it and humour is just yeah. the greatest. I started talking about mental health in this show when I wrote it. Like, I had bits on it in 2016 and then started doing the show in 17. At that time, it wasn't that fashionable. I did a whole section on mental health and that's not an easy subject to joke about. But I talked about my experiences and my take on it. When the emotion is attached to something, yeah. it's, it's very difficult to talk about. But when you discuss it on stage and show both sides and relieve it, it's a stress valve, isn't it? It's very pent up. And to discuss that on stage took me a long time because I had to be skilled enough as a comic right. to bring it up without the emotion being attached to it. Um, because we hold emotion to a lot of issues we suffer from. And once you start to balance the positives and the negatives to certain situations, you can tend to discuss things a little bit easier. But I'm not saying what I, the way I approach these issues is right or wrong. It's just the way I deal with it. So when you discuss these things on stage and people have been through similar situations now, can I bring those experiences to help people? You know, in, in these kinds of months and even with my stand-up. 